Like a flash in the good old frying pan, the Stanley craze is officially dead. Not dying, not fading, but dead. Six feet under. Just as quickly as the Stanley Cup craze swept the nation, it fell off just as hard. While certain water bottle brands have managed to become trends over the last several years, take a look at Yeti or Hydro Flask, I don't think we've gotten anywhere close to the cultural impact that Stanley has had in just a few short months. I mean, these things were literally everywhere. You couldn't go on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, hell, probably even LinkedIn without someone pairing their newest Stanley Cup to their outfit for the day. And then out of nowhere, people just stopped caring. So, to really give you all the full scoop on this whole saga, I'm going to break the video down into three parts. First, we're going to take a quick look at how Stanley Cups got so popular. There's plenty of good videos on this already, but context is important here, so I'll make it short. The second part, actual proof that the Stanley Cup craze is officially over. And finally, the third part, a general analysis and discussion on consumerism and how we've gotten to the point in our lives where people will literally riot over water bottles. Before we get any farther into this video, I hate doing this, but we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers, so if you want to see more like this, this, just subscribe it'd mean a lot and if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up anyway back to the video y'all sorry for the interruption and all this hysteria over a cup i got a stanley okay so a quick background on how this obsession with stanley products originally started there's actually two key moments we need to look at here first in 2020 which was a fantastic year for everyone i can almost guarantee it stanley brought on terrence riley who was the former ceo of crocs to be their new ceo do y'all remember back in the day when Crocs were essentially a no man's land for footwear? For a hot minute, you wouldn't be caught dead walking out on the street with Crocs on for fear of a public humiliation ritual and possible execution. Anyways, Mr. Terrence basically reinvented the Croc brand. He added a bunch of new colors, a whole suite of influencer collaborations, and he introduced a bunch of new models too. Take a look at these high heels. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the one, guys. Now, Crocs are more popular than ever, and you're guaranteed to see them wherever you go. Personally, I've got two pairs myself. A white pair for when I just want to be casual and hit the town, and then a black pair for when I need to dress things up a little bit. So, Terrence joined Stanley, and having found success with Crocs, told everyone to hold his beer and implemented a similar strategy. For the longest time, Stanley was just a boring brand. Boring colors, boring marketing, boring models, all of it. Boring. Now, under new leadership, bright new colors were introduced, new models were added, this being where the iconic quencher model came from and a cute little bear was added to the cups this was great and all but still the brand was nowhere near its peak in popularity this leads us to the faded car fire video in november of 2023 a woman named danielle uploaded a video to tiktok showing how her car had completely caught on fire everything was destroyed except her trusty stanley bottle which was unscathed not only did this video completely blow up much like her car, but Stanley even went out of their way and bought her an entirely new vehicle. I know it wasn't, but imagine if this was a guerrilla marketing campaign, I mean that would have been so genius. After this video popped up, the Stanley Cup craze went into effect immediately. All of a sudden, these cups were flying off the shelves, they began to resell on the secondary market, and every single teen girl and soccer mom in America just had to have one. While I'm gonna get into it later in this video, Stanley did such a good job of marketing these water bottles as more than just a bottle. They transcended the utilitarian function of holding liquids, and all of a sudden they became a status symbol, an outfit accessory, and for some reason, something to collect. Guys, I think the Stanley hype is officially over. 12 p.m. and still in stock. For a while, Stanley fever was spreading like absolute wildfire. All of a sudden, you had kids waking up on Christmas morning hoping that a literal steel bottle was under that tree. When I was younger, I asked Santa for a Lego ATST set, which I didn't get. I still haven't forgotten. It seemed for a while that the peak of Stanley's popularity was nowhere in sight, but then all of a sudden, people just stopped caring. The only thing I really stumbled upon when trying to look at what happened to them was the great lead scandal of February 2024. I think my Stanley cup gave me lead poisoning. <laughs> Stanley just admitted they have a toxic metal in their cup. Videos have been going viral. Controversy really started on social media. You had consumers testing these products for- So yeah, Stanley cups, they've got lead. But here's the thing, every single one of these water bottle companies that make metal bottles put lead in their cups. And it isn't even a lot. Essentially, lead is used in the sealant that keeps the insulation in place, so to even access this lead, you would have to completely destroy the cup. Suddenly, people started posting videos of them using at-home lead testing kits on their cups, and even a bunch of people filmed themselves actually throwing them away. I know for a fact that after ending this video, that lady immediately grabbed all those cups out of the trash bag like they're too expensive to just throw away. While I highly doubt that this scandal had any real impact on the 
popularity of these cups, it certainly caused a ripple in the brand image. Stanley is also facing several lawsuits over the lead in their cups, which I don't think they have much backing, nor will they go anywhere. Now we move on to the actual proof that the Stanley Cup craze is over. We've got graphs, so it must be true. If we take a look at this Google Trends chart, we'll notice that it's already way past its peak. It's kind of crazy. The interest metric is almost back down to where it was pre-car fire video. And if we take a look at Hydro Flask, another water bottle brand that blew up in 2019, they're about equal now. Also, when you search for water bottles on Google, Stanley doesn't even show up. You can physically see that the craze is over for yourself by visiting any retailer like Target or Dick's. Once empty shelves where sold out Stanleys used to sit are now completely stocked. Even looking at TikTok, the Stanley content machine has completely broken down. A few months ago, there were literally hundreds and hundreds of videos getting posted every single day about people's newest Stanley purchase. But if you take a look over the last week, there's barely anything. There's only so much content you can make about these things, like their water bottles. How many new purchase videos can you watch? How many collection videos can you see? How many new accessories can be made? Look at this. Oh, perfect. I know you aren't going out in public with that thing, so please just use a Ziploc bag. Truly, there is a limit on how much content people want to see about buying a water bottle. Once everyone who wants one has one, the trend just completely dies. This leads us to the final part of the video, a short look at consumption and how this cup became the it thing for like four months. Also a quick pause here, if it looks like I'm sweating or I'm shiny, just know that I am. I'm literally in a closet with no ventilation. I've got studio lights. I just blinded myself. Top 15 Amazon products for this month. This is a human sized dog bed that comes with its own blanket and it's machine washable. Consumerism has become, and I don't know any other way to put this, ever consuming. You can't go on Instagram or any other social media without seeing a post about must buy Amazon items or weird Timu finds. Consumerism is everywhere. People like buying stuff, including me. These cups were the absolute perfect recipe. They came in a bunch of fun colors, they had virality behind it, and they were somewhat limited making it the perfect micro status symbol. They don't hold the same weight as seeing someone with a luxury purse or Rolex, but their limited availability made it a hot commodity, which in turn made it a perfect micro status symbol. Unlike a lot of items, you can bring water bottles anywhere. You can have them at school, you can have them at work, you can have it just walking around outside. They're always visible. Because of this, water bottles have always been the subject of trends. First it was the Nalgene, then the Tervis, then the Yeti, then the Hydro Flask, and now we're on to the Stanley. Even hundreds of years ago, merchants would travel the world selling expensive and ornate canteens. Something about water receptacles just triggers the human brain to go, I need that. Humans are herd animals, and when someone gets something, someone else wants it. And when that someone else gets it, it spreads to the whole population. Everyone has to have it. Not having that something makes you feel left out of the group. Of course, if you aren't entrenched in consumerism, then this doesn't affect you, but most people are. These videos of people running to the Stanley displays and grabbing as many as they can is just wild. Like, I get they're limited, but at the end of the day, it's still just a brightly colored water bottle. I swear when something's in demand and it's limited, it just turns people into a completely different species. They go absolutely primal. It reminds me of those videos where people will hand out food to monkeys and all of a sudden you just have this monkey horde amassing trying to get their share. <laughs> It's just funny because these are literally water bottles that all this hysteria is about. I mean, they're good water bottles, but still, just water bottles. Literally any other insulated metal bottle will perform the same, but we've got to remember that it's not about just being a water bottle. It's a status symbol. While the Stanley Steamship has set off into the great beyond, this leaves a hole for a new water bottle to step in. I guarantee you that in a few months, maybe even a year, there will be a whole new water bottle that people are going crazy about. While I don't think a new water bottle will be able to match the same level of hype and hysteria surrounding Stanley, it'll still be a trend. Here's my vote for the next big water bottle. Awala, the adult sippy cup. They've got bright colors, a fun little sippy mechanic. Mark my words, they're gonna be the next big thing. So that concludes the video. Stanley had the absolute perfect storm to become the big thing for a few months, but it's so interesting to see how hard they actually fell off. Sure, people are still buying them and using them. They haven't completely disappeared, but the general mania surrounding them has completely died off. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you wanna see more absolutely ground pound, the uh what do you call it subscribe button and if you like the video i mean hey why not tap the little like button too that would be pretty sweet and cool and i'd like that i hope you all have a great rest of your day a great rest of your night a great whenever you're watching this video my name is parker and i'll see you next time